Bobby Wan Kenobi says, there is no new genetic information added to achieve limb loss or egg retention. The information required for this is already present, so they do not represent a step in any direction that would require new information. Comparing this to human bearing slash birthing when libraries of different information stand between is fantasy, no matter how much time you throw into the equation. Okay, so he's saying that there's no new genetic information for limb loss or for egg retention. And that video is about limb loss or limb reduction and egg retention. Honestly, we don't know for sure the genetics behind limb reduction and limb loss with total certainty in skinks. But we do know quite well how limb loss or limb reduction works in like dog breeds that have short limbs, for example. And in that case, we actually have an increase in genetic information. So if you look at like a, a wiener dog, or what's the other ones that, what's, what are the other short-legged ones like the, that the Queen of England has? Corgis. Corgis, there we go. If you look cor at the, the, the genome of a corgi, the genome of a wiener dog, you'll see that they have a gene duplication that causes the overexpression of a growth hormone and that causes the bones, the growth plates in the bones to close earlier than they would otherwise, and that causes their stubby legs. When you look at any evolutionary change, it's, it's very difficult to know if there was something added to the genome itself or something taken away, because both things can cause similar traits. I believe that in snakes, there is an underexpression of a gene, and that's why they don't have legs, but and dogs, there's an overexpression of a gene which makes them have stubbier legs. We don't know for sure what's going on in the skink at the gene level. But we, this, this is a red heron, red herring. There's increases in genetic information, there's decreases in genetic information over the course of evolution. This just happens, it's a fact, it's well understood, it's well studied. The people that are parroting this haven't studied genetics.